ho, hi, ho? Or is it I O I O? So it's off to work I go. With everybody else, look at me. Almost normal. So I am aware of the fact, if you didn't hear it at the end of yesterday's video, that my mic on my camera isn't picking up my voice during the day very well. It's picking up all the noise around me, which is awesome. The sound of the truck is awesome, right? Everybody likes that, but you also probably wanna hear what I'm saying. It's driving me a little nuts. I used to have a microphone, right? Uh, that would help me out with this camera, but that microphone broke at one point and stopped working properly. So yesterday I went and ordered a new one and it's supposed to be here on Saturday. So next week we should have better audio during the day sort of just gets mounted beside the camera where the camera's mounted and uh, I know it's probably been a little bit frustrating for you because it's frustrating for me editing it and not being able to hear what I'm saying so just so you know there is a solution on the way we're gonna deal with it for the rest of this week uh, today is Wednesday when I'm filming this and hopefully by next Monday uh, you'll be able to hear what I'm trying to tell you sort of the whole purpose of a vlog right me sharing thoughts and what I have to say with you sort of defeats the purpose when you can't hear me. I remembered my shades today. Thank God. Because we leave here before the sun really comes up in the wintertime, right? And I never think of it until the sun comes up. Oh my eyes! So I stopped at Deacon's Corner to pick up shades yesterday, right? They're not essential. I wasn't allowed to buy them. They weren't allowed to sell them to me. So I had to go around the whole day driving this big rig, squinting my eyes in the bright sunlight. I had a big headache by the end of the day. All because they couldn't sell me sunglasses. They were all there. The sunglasses were all there, right on the shelf, right in front of me with those little, a little note on it. These items are not essential. We're not allowed to sell them right now. What a silly world we're in. What a silly, upside down, backwards world. But apparently they're supposed to be easing these restrictions. How gracious of the overlords. This weekend we're supposed to get a little bit of freedom back. Yeah, just a little bit. And that'll keep us peasants happy. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I wish I had more power to do something about it, but all I can say is that it makes no sense to me I don't like it. I kind of get the idea behind it and I get what they're trying to prevent. I understand both sides of it, but I don't know. I'm ready to go get a haircut. <laughs> Another messy, messy day. This guy won't stop looking at me. What are you looking at? I almost got run off the road this morning by a school bus, just like that. It was crazy. It's like they thought they were driving a tiny car or something. They passed me on the way in to work today, right? and as uh, a four lane divided highway. Bus comes up beside me. My hood gets to about the center of their bus, the school bus, and he just turns his turn signal on and just starts moving into my lane. Pushed me right onto the shoulder. I was flashing my lights, honking my horn. He just kept coming in and then didn't even acknowledge that he did something wrong after that. No like, I'm sorry flashes or anything or no like going back into the lane that he was in in the first place you know before running me onto the shoulder no he just kept steadily not like quickly just slowly steadily started moving over just pushed me onto the shoulder and just meandered his way down the road and what's weird is he pushed me onto the right hand shoulder right or she who knows who was driving and uh <laughs> 
a mile down the road, they get back in the left lane because they want to make a left turn. So what was so important that they had to get into my lane and push me off the road just to get back in the other lane and turn left? I, and it was a school bus. These are the things that carry children around. Honking, flashing my lights. Even some other people beside me went up beside them and were honking. They were totally oblivious, had no idea what just happened. Just went about their day. They probably still have no idea why people were honking at them. Probably looked in his mirror, he's probably like, oh, why is that guy driving on the shoulder? That's weird. In and out, in and out. Okay. We got some stuff. It's time to bring it somewhere. We'll probably get some more stuff before we head out though, I'm guessing. I only got one one skid on my truck right now and a couple of boxes. Let's get out of their dock first. And we'll radio in, see what the plan is. Talk to the load gods. Oh, they're already, no, they aren't not talking to me. It's a nice thing about two-way radios. I told you this already, right? A couple weeks ago. So I can talk to them directly instead of just sending them messages. It's nice to have direct access to the load gods like that. And there's not a whole bunch of other people on here that I don't want to hear from, right? It's just the people I want to hear from. It's sort of trucker central, Winnipeg. Route 90 up in the northwest side of the city. Anything to do with trucks you can find here. Got yourself an international dealership across to the left there. Got several trucking companies all around here. Bunch of diesel shops. You got a Peterbilt dealership off to my right. Inland Kenworth, where Andy the Kenworth guy works. He's a little ways down the road to our left. That's where I'm gonna be going now, as soon as this light allows me. You got a Volvo dealership further down the road there. Anything to do with big trucks. Northern Route 90.
world out here, man. In the city, everybody is just at your, at your throat, right up your rear end, cutting you off. A lot more fast paced. I kinda like it though. Keeps you on your toes. So every time after I get loaded, if I'm not allowed on the dock, I come around to the back here and double check that they locked this properly and that they flung those things under the door inside there. And I also want to check to make sure that the freight is okay. So I'm going to reopen it and check to make sure that they loaded it correctly. So everything was good. I've never had a problem yet where they don't load me correctly or load me up with the wrong stuff or something, but it is my responsibility for what's inside the trailer, right? So I gotta make sure it's properly secured so it doesn't get damaged in transport because from the time I leave now to the time I get to where it's going, it all falls on me. So they might have told me, yeah, I secured it. Yeah, it's all good to go. I'm gonna double check myself because let's say you have a, like a, I don't know, like a 5,000 pound pallet in there and they just used one little half inch strap to strap it in and secure it. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> so I'd go in there and just fix it up if I have to. But so far I haven't had to do that. Everyone's been really good. But I still double check, always. I wanna know what's in there. I wanna know how it's in there. And that it's gonna be safe. Then we're off to the next place. I've always got to have fresh air while I'm driving. Always. Whether I'm on the highway or in the city, always got to have fresh air circulating in here. I used to drive Brit nuts when she came with me on the road when we went to the Yukon. And she'd get cold, right? But I have to have that fresh air, otherwise I get stuffed up or I get a headache. I don't know. Are you like that too? I think I get that from my dad. I always remember when I was on the truck with my dad growing up, he had a 97 Freightliner FLD. And it's just like this truck, it has these little tiny windows on the side that you can open up. Actually, I could just do that. Yeah, that actually works well. That's what he used to always do, just open up the little side window and it lets a little bit of fresh air in. He also said that too, if he didn't, uh, if he didn't have that fresh air, he'd get a headache. I believe this is my last pickup of the day. Looks straight. It's about 4.30, so I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe there'll be one more, I don't know. It's going to be a late one tonight. It's time now, quarter after five. I'm now leaving Winnipeg. It'll be about 45 minutes to get home or to back to the Steinbeck area. That'll be six. Then I got a delivery to make yet. That's well, a good long day. I like a good full day, you know? Makes it really worthwhile. I mean, you gotta remember that I'm used to working 14 to 16 hour days, depending which side of the border I was on. So a 12 hour day here, that's, that's nothing.
when they built this. It wasn't too long ago uh, when they updated it anyways. And they made it so huge. Remember, I even said it in my vlog. I said, is there even that many trucks that fuel up at the same time as Steinbeck? Well, at the end of the day, during rush hour, after business hours when everyone's fueling up their trucks, sort of like I am, I'm a little later today than usual, so there's no one here. But when everybody's here, we're all here at the same time, so they actually do use all of them. It's a long, long fuel island there. <laughs> I think it used to be what, like four pumps? How does this thing keep getting so dirty? I seriously, I wiped down this truck like four times during the day. It's always dirty at the end of the day again. I'll wipe it down again tomorrow. So do you remember how at that one Petro Pass in, uh, what was it, in Dryden a while ago? I was talking about how they had the DEF in like its own container. Well, look at how they have the DEF here. It's got its own pump and its own container. Interesting, eh? Huh. This truck doesn't use DEF, thank God. Just straight old dinosaur fuel. It's the good stuff. See, look how dirty this is. I just cleaned it. Filthy again. Filthy, I say. Well, let's fill her up so we can go home. Diesel, your face is the first thing that's being recorded on my new SD card in this camera. I can store up to four hours of footage on here now. 128 gigs, man. Very fancy. Very. Chevy, what do you think? What? Food? I like food. How were you guys today? Were you guys good? I had a really long day at work. Well, it felt really long, like I was telling you. On the road, when I stay like on overnights, those days are much, much longer, so I shouldn't complain, but. Here we are putting this together again. Still waiting on the microphone. It's supposed to be here by Saturday. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be here early. This SD card that I'm filming on right now was supposed to be here tomorrow and it came today. So if this was early, Chances are that might be early too. We'll see. One can hope. So I know a lot of you want to see more of the dogs, more of the family life here at home. Don't worry, we're going to start including some of that as well at the end of the vlog so that you get the full experience of starting the day, getting through the day, and then ending the day. But I'm trying to get used to a new system right now. I'm trying to get used to a new schedule. We'll figure it out. Right, Chef? We always do.